Alrighty, we finally have a Yukon Striker construction update for you guys today. All right, it's been so long because of weather. I'm so sorry, but we cannot get the drone up whenever it's snowing or it's too cold. So the footage you're currently looking at is from Friday. Um, the footage coming up though is from today. Do not fret. Um, we have some up-to-date footage for you guys and some awesome things to discuss. So as you can see in the parking lot, there were two trains as of Thursday. As of Friday afternoon, there were three trains in the storage lot. All nine carts with three trains have arrived. That's super awesome. They are assembling the trains in the parking lot as well. Um, and from what I can tell you guys, the trains have gold. Um, they have burgundy red and they have fancy beige car interior seating. Um, so they look really awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see them when Canada's Wonderland decides to show them for everyone. Um, and in terms of construction, um, there's a lot going on. So from the footage right now, it's gonna be hard to make out what I'm talking about, um, but we have some zoomed in pictures for you guys. If you look closely in the back lot exit, it looks as if they're building either a power generator um, right in the queue line area, which would be weird, or a photo booth um, to go with fun pics. So one of the two options is being built down in the back lot coaster exit. So that's just a quick update for you guys. Um, and uh, then a lot of you guys are here for the vertical loop. What on earth is going on with the vertical loop? Is it being removed and there's going to be some weird element? What happened? What's going on? Um, and I'm here to tell you we don't have any answers um, and nor will we provide any answers about what's going on. But all I can say is things are looking up. Um, you're going to see construction going on near the drop out of the mid course break run. You're going to see Frontier Canada construction going on. You're going to see construction in the station area occurring. There's weird activity in the storage lot next to Mindbuster's turnaround. There's weird activity next to Mindbuster. Um, and just a lot going on in general. The queue line is off to a great start for Yukon Striker as well. Um, and there's definitely some buildings being erected in the station area. So that's super exciting. A lot of work going on for the queue line and the theming. That's the most work we're seeing now. Um, it looks like they're just finishing off Yukon Striker's iron work. So the steel for the coaster. Uh, so hopefully that'll be done by next week. Um, a little thing, I don't see the track pieces that are still missing. Again, we are super far away, so things can be easily hidden that we can't see. They could be behind the Splashworks buildings. Who knows? I do see a piece for the top of the vertical loop sitting there waiting. I also see the support structure went up. So that's super exciting. So as you can see in this photo, the farthest red arrow from us is the new support column that just went up. This is around the area where we saw them remove that piece of track coming out of the vertical loop into that tunnel. Um, so that piece I can't see anywhere. The green arrow is the top of the vertical loop, the two pieces that will connect the vertical loop. Um, and the red arrow is that old support beam that went up for the vertical loop that's been there for about over a week now. So nothing developed there. The new support beam did go up either yesterday or today. Um, so that's super exciting. All the support columns are up now. There are no more support columns, just track pieces left to go in. Um, again, I do not know where the three track pieces I cannot account for are stored or sitting. I do not see them on site. Um, I'm going tomorrow myself uh, to fly the drone. Uh, to see if I can get some angles. Um, but yes, I'm super excited to get the storage area tomorrow. Craig unfortunately forgot to film the storage area today, so I don't have any shots of the third train, but we'll get that for you tomorrow. Um, Cause my drone, it has a little heater pack to get the battery up. So tomorrow's a little too cold to normally fly, but I'll be able to get my drone up in the air to fly tomorrow. So I'm gonna try with my injured leg to get over there. Um, and then Craig will just fly my drone after it's off the heating pack. Um, but yeah, super exciting. So all the support columns are up. The track pieces, I have no idea what's going on with them. They could be hidden in the forest there. Who knows? They could be hidden somewhere that we're not seeing. But again, the vertical loop is starting to take shape again. That's exciting. That's a good sign. They wouldn't put up the support column if they didn't intend to complete the vertical loop. Again, also Grace Peacock on Twitter has also stated the uh, coaster will be done. The vertical loop will be done soon. She said coming soon. So um, all good news, all good things. 
it looks like uh, they figured out whatever was going on is resolved. So that's super exciting. Now, what's going on in the other locations of the coaster? So in the storage lot, as I said, next to Mindbuster, I'll get some shots for you guys tomorrow as best as I can. Again, it is very difficult to make things out from far away. It looks like there is steel framing for the station area. Again, so in the animation, it showed a mine shaft type building, and that looks like what it's going to be. The materials I saw definitely look like the side paneling um, and the paneling for a mine shaft steel silver building. Um, it matches up with the animation, so that looks like what we're getting. Um, another weird thing is a, a lot of brickwork is showing up, and there's a lot of weird activity for the station area, the queue line, um, and I know that the Entrance to the queue line is going to be a grand entrance. It's probably going to be a fountain type Yukon Striker themed mountainous rockwork type thing with water. Um, it looks like water is going to be incorporated into the ride. Um, as you can see here, it looks like um, we have what could be a river. Again, whenever we discuss what could be going on with Yukon Striker, uh, you need to take with a grain of salt. Any YouTuber doesn't know at end all what's going to happen. They don't know what's going on. Take anything a coaster YouTuber says about a coaster or project with a grain of salt. But I'm definitely thinking this looks like a river. I knew there was supposed to be a river. There were river markings and stakes um, in the forest area as well. So Yukon is very uh, full of rivers. So you're probably going to see some rivers on Yukon Striker, which is super exciting. It looks like it's going to be a very nice themed area. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like um, at, when it's done. So again, some of the buildings you're going to probably see for Frontier Canada are very similar-ish. Again, very vague-ish. Uh, to the building displayed there on the bottom right side of the screen. So you're probably going to see some gold panning, Yukon styled Gold Rush era buildings um, themed to Dawson City. So very lumberish type stuff. Um, again, a lot of people are underestimating what Frontier Canada is going to be. I'm super excited to see the theming for Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada. And it looks like it's going to be that awesome. There's a huge construction team on site doing the theming now. In fact, there's much more construction workers doing the theming for Frontier Canada and Yukon Striker than there was erecting the coaster. They're all over, as you'll see in the video. Um, some more exciting news comes in the station area. So a lot of you already know that you enter um, somewhere along the pathway that goes up and you're gonna enter the station area underneath the turn out of the station. So you can see that there. Um, you can see some workers in yellow down there as well. And you can see that they've started to erect the actual platform exiting the coaster. So we know that on the right side of the Yukon Striker in this video, so the right side in this current view, uh, you can see they're erecting a platform. Um, you're going to exit down there and there's supposed to be, I don't know where they're going to fit the gift shop. So that is a little, uh, I don't know where that's going on this ride. Um, so that'll be interesting to see where they fit that in. Um, I'm interested in all and how the queue line is going to look because from current view, it looks like the queue line is going to wrap underneath the helix and underneath the brake run of the coaster. Um, they're definitely digging and plowing that area. We've seen cement trucks coming in and out of Canada's Wonderland. So definitely very interested to see where the queue line and the station end up being. Now, so all together uh, to wrap things up, we have the vertical loop is starting to take shape. The support columns going up. The uh, station platform for the exit of Yukon Striker is going up. You have the station paneling for theming on site by the looks of it. You have a what looks like river being installed next to the drop out of the MCBR heading towards the station. Um, we don't know where the track pieces are for the vertical loop from our drone. Unfortunately, all three trains are on site. Um, so that's super exciting. They're wrapped tight now. You can't see them. Again, to others watching this video, you cannot go on property and film. I just wanted to stress that again. You are trespassing when you go on Wonderland and filming and uploading it to YouTube will just lead you to getting caught. Um, but altogether, lots going on. Super exciting. And hope you guys enjoyed this construction update on Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Bye.